mentioned by Christine that I had the opportunity to talk about um, conservation initiative earlier this uh, administration. So now I'm moving out of the research mission area to the conservation portfolio. And the second largest conservation program that USDA has is the Environmental Qualities Incentive Program. Some of your farmers may have been beneficiaries of this program before because it's open to all farmers. Um, Those 60% of equipment money goes to livestock producers. However, this last farm bill, we were prodded to do more in organic, and so about a month ago, I was able to announce a pot of $50 million for organic and transition to organic, a dedicated pot. And um, we had a very quick May 17th to 29th kind of sign up. I really appreciate everyone's efforts to get the word out. Um, but even so, states realized with the demand that they were getting, the kind of questions that farmers were raising, that they needed to extend the deadline. So many of them have, um, and it's coming close to the end. So far, um, we've received 2,200 applications for this money. And um, one of the ideas that we have, and I think NRCS and ERS, Natural Resources Conservation Service, and the Economic Research Service, I'm already in Washington two months, and I'm starting to do that alphabet thing. Um, one of the things we've asked them to do is think about looking at these uh, people who are transitioning to organic. We have a new cohort being identified through this pot of money. And what is it that we want to know about these people? Let's get some baseline data on them and follow them through. Um, now, this is my favorite slide. How's that for a reading, huh? <laughs> Very visual, huh? So um, we also have uh, the Green Payments Program at USDA, the Conservation Stewardship Program. And I testified on this program when I was a professor at Tufts University in the very first Farm Bill hearing that Chairman Harkin held on the Senate side. CSP program is his baby, really. And one of the things I testified was um, some of the problems organic producers were having uh, with qualifying for CSP because of the tillage practices that are typical in organic production. Uh, and so there have been adjustments to this program. I think we're going to see over this next year a more a higher sensitivity to some of the alternative practices that actually do fit in with the program's motto, which is reward the best and motivate the rest. So okay, I'm going to move out of conservation and I'm going to go over to the mission area that is the farm and foreign ag service mission area. In Washington talk, we say it's sort of the Title I part of USDA where your commodity programs are, um, some of the, the major um, long-term programs at USDA. And in FSA, um, uh, the 2008 Farm Bill created a new FSA conservation loan program and also within that four priority categories for this new program, one being organic. So we'll be seeing some more there in the Farm Services Agency. Uh, the Farm Services Agency also is in charge of the conservation, conservation Reserve Program. Even though it's a conservation program, you think it might be over at NRCS, it's actually located in this part of USDA, in this mission. And the Farm Bill authorizes $25 million for the CRP Transition Program. And we think this is going to have a great applicability to organic because the farmers and ranchers are permitted to make land improvements and begin the organic certification process beginning one year prior to retiring landowner's CRP termination date.